Hello guys, welcome back to Kubo's Update. The House of Representatives Committee on Public Procurement has decried the poor allocation to the Bureau of Public Procurement BPE, for monitoring and surveillance of projects in the 2022 budget. The committee members during the budget defense session on Tuesday expressed dissatisfaction with the allocation of 28.5 million naira to the Bureau to monitor all federal government projects, describing it as insufficient. The chairman of the committee, Ali Nasuru, APC Kanu, while asking the Director General of BPP, Maman Amadou, about the performance of the 2022 budget, flagged the allocation to surveillance and monetary aspects of the Bureau's budget. The surveillance of all federal government's projects as an allocation of 28.5 million naira. Is that the amount that you are supposed to use for surveillance of all government projects for the year 2022? Are you talking about the 36 states of Nigeria? I am sure all these projects run into thousands of projects. Are you saying 28.5 million naira is the only funding that you have for monitoring of all projects? He said. Responding to the question, Mr. Hamadou said, The allocation is not sufficient, though the Bureau is working within its envelope budget. He explained that the Bureau cannot monitor all projects but will rather do random monitoring based on established criteria. On the surveillance issue, the money is not enough and is not sufficient. 28 million naira definitely is not sufficient. But we have an envelope and in our choice of priority, that is the amount we can follow for surveillance. We do the best we can given the lean resources we have. It is not all the projects that we carry our surveillance on. We do a random selection of projects and to do the surveillance. Surveillance is also done through accessing of the job. Some are carried out by members of staff. In the monitoring of projects, we identify projects that are underperforming and we look at payments made for those projects. If there is a mismatch between performance and payment, the DG said. A member of the committee, Benkalu, APC Abia, in his contribution, said poor allocation will not ensure the efficiency of monitoring. The committee therefore resolved that the Director General should provide them with the breakdown of all expenses made so far in 2022. So guys, that is it for this video and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we do. And if you do enjoy it, what are your thoughts regarding the video? Comment your thoughts, like and subscribe to our channel in order to support us. Thanks as always.